Hi folks, today I'm going to show you um, how the pipe symbol works in Linux, uh, Unix and Mac OS command lines. Basically, if you've got some commands on the command line you want to string together, um, you use the pipe. Um, it's a key on the British keyboard which is to the left of the, to left of the Z usually. It's You press shift and the backslash, get a pipe. Now, say you want to get some information from one command and pipe it, uh, uh, process it directly into another uh, program or a filter program, you use the pipe. For example, if I type ls, there's loads of stuff there and I want to see what PNGs there are. So if I type in ls, so let me clear, let me clear the screen, ls pipe prep, which is the parser, png. What that's doing is it's piping everything. Instead of, instead of the ls command sending the results to the screen, it goes directly from standard out back to standard in, and then it sends the ls results into grep, which filters out the word png, like this. It will highlight it in red. Um, this is how pipe works. Imagine this is your listing here, ls minus la, which is a listing uh, long and all, with all files, including hidden files. Um, so we're looking for the word mkv. And so the listing uh, output, the listing output is sent via standard out, back to standard in, into the grep command, which filters out mkv, and then output via standard out, back to standard in, and to tail command, which will give you the last few results of the block of text which you're filtering that will then send it to the terminal here so that's how it works so let me do ls minus la type it into grep png type that into tail um, let me go to my dot images pictures folder that's better okay there's loads of pngs in here so ls minus la pipe that's sending it from the ls sending the output from the ls command straight into the next program which is called grep grand extensible parser i think that means I think grep is, yeah, grand extensible parser. Anyway, it's grep um, png. So that's all those pngs. Repeat that command and add on tail. It will just give me the, um, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 10. If I do head, I'll give you the first 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, first 10. If I do ls tag la pipe into grep, png, pipe into more, um, what it does is it prints a screen full, and you have to press return to get more a line at a time. So that's how that works. So yeah, that's the basics of pipe. Um, Say I wanted to um, go to my etc. apt folder, cat sources dot list. Oh, sorry, no, that's wrong. Sorry, no, forget that. Back to the home folder. So I wanted to do dpackage, which is get pack, get selections. This will show me all the software I've selected and installed with uh, app get. There's loads there, right? So I want to filter out xorg here. I do same same. Let me clear the screen. Same command again. Oops, no. The package get selections. Hello, why aren't you working? Get 
set selections and grep xorg and type that into more. So there's not enough to fill more than one screen, so that's why it's done that. It's just did one screen for. So clear the screen and do tail. It shows me the last ten. Do head. It shows me the first ten. So basically, yeah, what we're doing here, your um, your first program is this one here. This is your first command. And instead of it going straight to the screen, it pipes directly into the next command, which then pipes directly into the next command, and so on and so on and so on. You can chain hundreds, I, suppose, I presume thousands together, and finally output to the screen. There you go. Thanks, guys. That's tail. That, that's the uh, pipe command in Linux. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.